What we have for questions tonight inshaAllah, on, on topic though please, let's not go all over the place. We spoke about a lot of things last week and just now and see if anybody triggers any understanding into that, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa Thank you for the amazing teachings and understandings. Knowing that we are so weak servants and have no ability to help ourselves, how can we get rid of our inner hypocrite? May Allah bless you and give you long life. Alhamdulillah as long as you recognize it and, and listen to it. So the, the inner hypocrite is the, the shaitan that got beat down because you got a shaykh. Right? Because the shaitan who was building you since two years old, could say the naughty two, is the one whom Allah says, a devil has been attached to every human. And as a result that one was sitting with the child from childhood, guiding, 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 thinking that he's going to be the guide for this person. And that he'll ride this person to the grave. When you understand that you have a, a, a jinn that was attached to you, riding you, was responsible for you to misguide you and misdirect you, so then who do you think is angry when you accepted a shaykh, a guide, a teacher? That one that you don't see but you hear him. If you can recognize that one and tie a rope around him and begin to beat him and attack him, that's your fight. That's what Prophet described as Jihad al-Akbar. You listen to the shaykh, you hear waswas, go after him, go after your waswas. That astaghfirullah and grab and make istighfar. And, and spit when you think he's coming too, too much around, make your, your zikr, your salawats, visualize your energy and that your energy is, is expanding. Don't, don't make it your lover in which you, huh, oh, oh yeah, tell me, tell me more. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And you're listening and listening like you built a romance with shaitan. And then he, he talks to you and you, you're like he's singing to you and you're listening and listening. And he defecating, defecating, defecating upon the servant and contaminating the heart of the servant, poisoning the soul of the servant, that's a munafiq. So whom all of them, all people have it, it's who's willing to attack it spiritually. You identify, why is that voice coming now? Why after he says this, I've, I'm hearing this, astaghfirullah, make your salawats and say, astaghfirullah, ta'awzu billahi min shaitanir rajeem. And know that what is, is happening when something is being whispered to you, when you're becoming aggressive against the teaching, aggressive in the, in the, uh, the, the energies, the test comes. And the response that you have, the demeanor that you have, the words and the feelings that you have, pay attention to them. If anger begins to come, you subside and swallow that anger. So all of these are important. It's a struggle, it's an immense struggle. 
it's not just we say something and people say, oh okay and then it goes to the next page. But our whole life is based on that and based on that struggle and based on that characteristic. And every interaction and email and, and everything exposes that characteristic. And everything you do you have to question, why am I doing this? Even in my service, why am I doing this? So I want to make sure that it's for Allah for Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Alaikum Salaam wa Rahmatullah I'm a revert with little knowledge. Where can I start and how can I take bayah inshaAllah? Revert with little knowledge inshaAllah. Don't worry alhamdulillah we all have little knowledge, just need to have a big heart with lots of love. You start at the videos, watch the videos, build the love for Sayyidina Muhammad email at help me at nurmuhammad.com the moderators will post the email there you copy paste that email so that we can put you on the emailing list and send you the first letter second letter on how to meditate how to contemplate inshaAllah and inshaAllah at the end of uh, tonight then we'll recite the, the bayat to Sultanul Awliya Imam Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani Imam Shaykh Sham Kabani Shaykh Adnan Kabani Shaykh Muhammad Adil and Nashbandiyatul Ali inshaAllah uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, What is the best way to learn adab in tariqah? By following the shaykh. That listen to the shaykh and uh, read the articles and uh, the talks are for every person directly. When the shaykh is talking, say, oh much you I wonder who he's talking about. No, I have to say, no, I'm sure he's talking to me. Everything is about me, everything is about me understanding myself and my character. If we can bring it to myself then I can begin to understand and analyze myself. Then I too and learn the meditation, our style of meditation, the Nashbandi and Sufi style of meditation, very specific. So that you email, we send you a link on how to do that tafakkur and contemplation. And then you do a hisab and accounting and that night you write an accounting of the self, of, of uh, people, places and things. Get the meditation book, we said, anyone who's following us we have a whole, what is it called, course outline. The books that we've published are all based on this subject matter that we teach. How to do the meditation is essential, so it's an encyclopedia. How to connect to the energy, how to connect to the heart of Prophet So our syllabus and course outline are on these six books that have been put out. So you buy the book or buy one book or buy two books or go online and get the articles and then you begin to read them so that you're familiar with the syllabus of the shaykh and his teaching and, and where and what direction we're supposed to be going in. So it's a very complete course on, on meditation, contemplation and how to make the connection into the world of light and to be prepared for the difficulties that are opening upon this earth inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Thank you Sayyidi for guiding us. Should we email you if we are feeling strong energies? And we are sort of new to the way and practices for about 10 months now. Yeah, you can email but we may send the same reply is that, alhamdulillah thank you and meditate. But like specific, like I feel like my foot is cold, my left foot is hot, it's going to be energy. So there's not a specific, uh, oh this means this. So this is a, a world with a million variables. The main thing is be patient, keep connecting with the shaykh, make sure that your system is our way, that you're connecting, visualizing the shaykh, not meditating alone, not meditating according to Reiki, to Buddhism, to Hinduism, leave everything out other than what's been taught by the Naqshbandi shaykhs. Don't mix any contamination into this way and into these teachings. 
that you don't know which one of those is toxic and contaminating the purity of this path. So that, that's very careful because people are coming from very mixed backgrounds and they want to incorporate or put a little bit of Buddhism, little bit of Hinduism, little bit of Reiki and before you know it you completely destroyed something that was pure gold. So if somebody gave you liquid pure gold I don't think you would throw some copper in there, some iron in there, some salt in there, uh, it's not gold anymore, it's something not recognizable and it takes away all the barakah and all the blessings and the loyalty to the shaykhs because these shaykhs their connection is solid gold, we call it a gold chain because of that. So they don't connect into copper and they don't connect into anything di dirty. So if we want their connection it's called the golden chain, so we have to be golden. And that's the importance is that when we clean and purify and keep the presence and the reality of that golden reality then their gold chain can lock on to us, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Please forgive my ignorance, uh, was wondering how come Sayyidina Musa salam, was black but those in Israel aren't and what are the realities of the 12 tribes and the holy sites in Saudi? <coughs> Did that come from Zishan right behind you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, wondering, I'm wondering how come nobody's asking about these things but yeah I guess it's not in their attention. Sometimes people are so busy to be acknowledged, it's, it's okay you know it's, it's alhamdulillah because there's thousands of people so everyone wants to be recognized, we recognize everyone. If we don't answer your questions or he doesn't ask the questions doesn't mean you weren't recognized because I read through everything. If anyone sees me I'm on the phone for like 20 hours and people think it's just browsing but we have uh, all these different entities, four different charities now, three different charities and I'm looking through everything. Who's making comments, who's putting comments in the videos, who's putting comments on the website, who's sharing on Facebook, what are they sharing on Facebook. So we try our best with the two eyes that we have and the people whom are helping to go through everything. So it's, it's important in our algorithm and the algorithm of those whom watch through our eyes that you participate, you be known, that you're not the sitting hidden on a couch somewhere but that if this is something you love then let it to show and let your love to come out. We don't like closet love in which people hide themselves. This is a love in which you have to qul inna salati wa ahna suqi wa ahma yahya wa ahma mati lillahi rabbil alameen that you're asking to be called into service. So it means that you get up, suit up and start moving into the, into the program by making the comments, taking the links, sharing the links, trying to go out and give some food. These are all protections, these are all blessings, these are all immense dressings, give charity, support the charity. Then I, other people are sending links for other charities, again misguided and, and misconstrued directions and that's when things start to go wrong. No, no, everything is on our organizations, our articles, they, they, they post other people's articles. So that's not the service that we're talking about, that our students Again, they have a, a difficulty in the understanding of loyalty. You take our articles and you share them. You take our websites and you share them. And once you do that, you're now bound to a loyalty. So don't take our profile picture, be known as sharing our articles and then randomly send out some other crazy posts. Now you broke your loyalty, become tariq al-adab. So then you come back six months later, shake nothing opening, of course nothing opening. You broke your loyalty. You put the profile page of the shaykh, you're posting his articles, people now know you for spreading shaykh Nojan's articles. Why would you post someone else's article? Because now that audience was listening to you to see those posts and you something random, a different charity, a different this, a different that. Because people don't understand what loyalty is. When we served our shaykh, we wholly served the shaykh, nothing else. 
nothing was any of any interest because we understood that the audience is coming to us to keep updates of the shaykh. You don't cross contaminate them with something else. So that's what is meant by loyalty beyond what even people can imagine of loyalty is that we have a loyalty. So now look at the way of shaykh. His loyalty is to Sayyidina Muhammad So now thousands are tuning in to hear about a Muhammadan reality. All of a sudden he decides he's going to talk about Buddhism. Why? What will happen to his connection with Prophet You're cut. Why? Now to minimize the danger of what you're doing. So that's what loyalty is, that you're given a responsibility and the responsibility is to bring people to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So then 100% adherence to that reality and if mistakes are mistakes. But other than that, that's the concept of loyalty is that people are coming loyal to that and what you believe in and what you love, be loyal to it and post in it and post about it and spread the, the love and the ishq and the, the way of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. What was the rest of that question? <laughs> oh about Sayyidina Musa yeah we, I think they went, they passed it. <laughs> Yeah, they went to loyalty instead of the Sayyidina <laughs> Musa That's good, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the history with Sayyidina Musa is, is a, of a dark race and the importance of that and the reality of, of that servanthood, the reality of, of the reality of the Akhfa reality, the reality of Divinely Fire, all of those realities are important and there's an entire history that been rewritten in a different direction. And that when you know Allah is going to bring out what Allah wants to bring out at the time He's going to bring it out. But they give a shara to bring something and then all of a sudden a larger opening starts to come from other people and all over the world. So as soon as they gave that understanding all over the world it came out. So it's like a permission, they opened the door and opened the floodgate of understanding that Sayyidina Musa salam, not the color that people in Hollywood is trying to portray. Why? This color is not important but the color is important in the fact that what you've been listening to was not true, what you've been propagating was not true. So that Islam holds the truth, that it doesn't lie to the people, it tells the truth to people. Its foundation is built on truth. So that's why throughout Qur'an it talks about truth, truth, truth. So that people adhere and respect Islam and say, it's amazing how Islam is always speaking the truth. That there's no distinction in color, black and white is no difference for Allah But why is it that they went with a Hollywood image? That you have to ask why they wanted that image and why they propagate that image. But know that the history is not that, the history is something different. And the holy lands are… have always been the holy lands. From the time of Sayyidina Ibrahim in which he established the house of Allah and Sayyidina Yaqub ordered his sons to circumambulate the house of Allah and they say Sayyidina Shu'ayb was the caretaker of the house of Allah So the tribes have always been there, why was it redirected into other areas? And why was the history said to be somewhere else? But Allah will, will bring back what He wants to bring back and, and why people are going to say what they say. But either way they're going to come back and now say that they have a, a link into Hijaz and that uh, they want to bring people together but not to include the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So Allah inshaAllah bless us and protect us and that always the light of truth to be evident within the heart of ashiqeen inshaAllah. (laughs) 
السلام علیکم سعیدی وعلیکم السلام و رحمت اللہ Why is it that now all of a sudden everyone comes against us that is not in our tariqat and they want to aggravate us Sayyidi like go out of their way to do this Because the shaitan Yeah that's why keep your aura keep your zikr keep sharing if that's related to tariqa that you share articles and people are attacking then those are you know that's the the way that's the tariqa that you propagate and and to be loyal to the truth and loyal to the reality regardless if it's popular doing it that if you thought you're going to send a reality out to you know people whom shaitan are playing with shaitan's not going to be happy with that so he's going to have a very aggressive and angry response And the response itself is its own teaching. So people can reply back as in they've been posted somewhere and they replied with horrible comments about this shaykh does, he's like this, he's like this, he's like this. That in itself is its own teaching where you could have turned back and said, wow mashaAllah you really need to be cleaned and you really need guidance because who replies like this except somebody very sick and I pray that Allah guide you and uh, teach you the tarbiyah of the shaykhs. So every response has its even its own understanding and its own teachings. So people whom have good character they would never respond like that. People whom are on the truth would never respond like that. But people who are crooks and hoodlums, yeah they do respond like that. So that's how a hoodlum and a crook responds, inshaAllah. As alaikum Sayyidi. I'm just astonished, been listening to this shaykh's videos all morning while in a state of unexplainable anxiety and it seems as though he is reading my mind. How did I not find him sooner? May Allah reward you for the peace you yeah. helped me find today. And there's probably 20-30 messages like this. No, from the same person? Different people. <laughs> <They're> anxious. <laughs> Just be, being very thankful for you and your teachings. Thank you, Allah bless you so and, many and, messages. and keep you all good and sound and safe and don't put too much into your mind, don't put too much into your thinking, try to meditate, connect your heart and uh, yeah, don't, don't let the negative energies overwhelm and uh, cross-contaminate by other people whom are overwhelmed. You know they're, they're, they contaminate and that's the problem is somebody whom is overwhelmed as soon as they talk too much to you they're overwhelming you and they're winding your energy. So psychiatrists have the highest suicide rate, why? Because all day long they're dealing with people whom are overwhelmed, as a result they become overwhelmed. So the lesson for that is don't be a psychiatrist one. Do, definitely don't do it unlicensed in which you just want to listen to everyone, hear everyone, sort of have everyone sort of communicate to you about all their craziness, all their sickness, all their anxieties and difficulties and they're not trained for that. So that's a, in its own danger so you have to try to push away and say, thanks I'm, I, I have enough of my own difficulties and I'm just in solitude. And then for the one whom is insisting to try to talk too much, take a path of silence. Because the more you open your mouth, the stronger your fire of bad character is getting. So if you ever seen a fireplace, an old wood stove, if you open the door to the stove it, it ignites with the fire because the fire was looking for oxygen. When you open your mouth and you keep opening your mouth, you're igniting the shaitan to continuously sort of push words out of your mouth and complain and complain and complain. And before you know it that rage of shaitan is inside the person just sort of rambling and bambling all over the place. So the first step of tariqah was silence. So take a path of silence, meditate, contemplate and then try to control the inner voice and the waswas and we described tonight any anyone talking to you is waswas and that's the shaitan who's uh, who wants to be your guide wanted to be your guide and is angry that you actually have now a physical guide that's why then email the help me and what is the steps for meditation and 
how do I do the awrad and, and, and take your guidance inshaAllah and uh, defend yourself, do your awrad, do your salawats, keep yourself in wudu, keep yourself with taweez and the stickers within the home that there's a full-fledged energy difficulty and they're revealing more and more on, on television every night. And then one of the senators uh, said, uh, lock your doors tonight when they asked him about what was happening. <laughs> yeah, he actually came on TV I said, I don't know, they told us like all sorts of things and at the end he said, hey, everybody just lock your doors and he ended the whole press conference. So these, these people are, you know, saying more and more but we don't need that to validate ourself and our teaching. Our shaykhs taught us that the 30 years ago. So if you live that system, put the taweezes on yourself, put the taweezes on your children, uh, put the taweezes upon the home, guard the home. You ask people, you have your taweezes? No, it's in my wallet. Okay, but your money is safe but you have to be safe and it's a part of the, your sign of your faith, not you guarding your bank account but you have to guard yourself and, and say that, this is what I believe, this is the sunnah in which I carry, this is the, the, the beard. They're finding now that the beard actually has an immense power in, in a man's energy and his qudra and his uh, levels of uh, testosterone and, and manliness. So these are very important sunnahs, they're not something as a fashion statement that there's an energy on it that the awliya described that the angels are in the hair of the beard. And they like to reside within the hair. Well, anytime there's angels, mean there's going to be a qudra, there's going to be a divinely power and energy. So, this is what gives a man his energy and gives his madad from Allah that he's upholding the image and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad. So, many different things. Even now, they even expose it in different things. The kids come to me, so, did you know that they, they have a, a, an article? that a boxer who has a beard is less likely to have face damage than a boxer who has no beard. I don't know how they did that, how many people they must have punched to find out that the one who has a beard when he gets punched he has less damage than the one who has no beard. But we know it is, it's majestic. So now they're trying to find the sunnah and the science of the sunnah but we know that anyone whom is trying to resemble the way of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah and His angels are praising upon them, dressing them, blessing them because of Allah's love for the way of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. If someone invites us or asks us to tell them about you, our shaykh, and talk about tariqah and teachings, what should we do since the people want us to speak madad? Yeah, send a video. Send a video and say, here's some videos and uh, I've taken a path of silence and it's not for me to speak about it and here's some videos, I'll send this, I'll send the articles, I'll send his book. That's why we said the, the best gift you can get is buy a whole bunch of meditation books. You buy two, three copies, you can get them from Amazon and give them as a gift to people when you go out somewhere. So, this is my shaykh's book, it's our entire encyclopedia of Sufi meditation because people say, I meditate, say, yeah, yeah, we don't know about that but try the Sufi meditation in which you need a guide because the most dangerous is meditation alone because that means they have a microphone to shaitan all day long. So anyone who sits there and quiet and quiet, who's talking to them? Shaitan. And didn't ask for a shaykh to be present, didn't ask for this positive energy to be present, means then shaitan is playing with them, giving them waswas, misguiding. So then you get the meditation book as gifts for people and you give those out. But the danger of, of, of acknowledging and going and saying, oh, now speak is that they start to ask questions because shaitan will make sure it gets like that. And before you know it you're giving answers that were not in his teachings and not correct and not according to Islam and other people will hear that and say, what? And it, go, it goes sideways very fast. So and also the nafs, you don't want to make the nafs sick. So there's ways to do it in which it supports. Send the links, send the videos, get the book, give the book as a gift. And if you have any questions watch the shaykh's live broadcast three days a week 
he's live for you to watch him talk and ask a question and he'll answer it inshaAllah. So there's so many ways to get people inshaAllah instead of people doing it incorrectly and, and it goes all over the place inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.